Good day from down under. My name is Maria. I am a lecturer in the discipline of work and organizational studies at the University of Sydney Business School. That started in 2019. So I truly appreciate your interest in our experience of power, of giving away power. And in the interest of true co-creation, I invited both my peers and my former students to share our story. We pursue the development of nine graduate qualities in each of our undergraduate degrees. These essentially comprise transferable and work readiness skills, such as critical thinking, problem solving, communication skills, um, and skills like digital literacy, the ability to work effectively and productively across different cultures, different disciplines, and different areas of a business, the ability to find novel ways um, to solve complex problems, for example, and leadership, very importantly, the ability to affect real positive impact and influence others to engage in positive behaviors. All these skills are effectively and powerfully developed by the students as partners and students as co-creators approaches. Because if students create and determine their own learning and are in charge of their own skill development, they feel empowered and are motivated to do their best, and importantly, motivate others in doing the same. Inherently, the students as partners approach is almost like a professor passing on the microphone to students and creating a level playing field for them to voice their thoughts. As I learned how to inform a specific audience of important subject matters, I realized I was practicing and developing the key graduate quality of influence. Leading classroom activities helped reinforce knowledge and engage students into the bigger vision long term, allowing me to practice pitching an idea and connecting with people, which are universal values as well as skills in any setting or scene, classroom or workplace. The graduate quality that I feel is the most critical, not just in my profession, but also in life and even in social interactions, um, is the sense of professional, personal and ethical identity. Um, this whole experiment we did with the students as partners approach. And it was a really wonderful experience for me to just be um, involved in the design of the course um, and in the way that it actually played out um, practically in how I was able to engage with other students. Um, there was a really great example that I still recall fondly to this day, um, where there were a few students who were less engaged in the course, kind of sitting in the background of the, of the class. And I was able to really um, motivate them and speak into them and, and encourage them to, to be more, uh, more of an active participant in the class. Um, and so just having that opportunity in, in those formative university years, I feel has really um, boosted who I am as a professional and as a human being today. Receiving continuous feedback from other students helped me to become a more open-minded individual with all sorts of feedbacks. Outside of the classroom, my ability of influence helped me to become a leader in my volunteering organization, to lead other international students, to organize programs for the wider international students community. Um, so as an international student, I have some language barrier at the beginning um, and also like my entire studies was uh, started online so I did not see any people uh, face to face which create a very uh, big uh, problem to me but I think the student uh, as partners like in our class we have a hug system which have uh, encouraged me a lot to speak out in front of people and also like to talk to someone you don't know from like not face-to-face -face occasions. Taking the students as partners approach allowed me to develop my influencing skills in particular by setting an activity for my peers and watching their engagement with that activity in real time. So I was open and receptive to live feedback in terms of their engagement, in terms of their asking questions, whether or not they understood instructions and whether or not they were and, and keeping engaged throughout the activity based on the visual and audible cues that I was receiving. Now that, now that I'm in a professional workspace, those same qualities are there and readily available and now I'm 
primed towards them to see whether or not some of the innovative risks that I've taken to influence my peers or my colleagues, um, whether they're hitting the mark. Uh, so coming into the workplace now, I think I have a much more fleshed out and developed sense of digital literacy. And I think that it comes from studying um, through a critical lens and through an academic lens and then developing a bunch of techniques and then being able to share them to the class and having to actually really understand them holistically and from the point of view of an academic. Um, and I think that it's given me a real step up in the working world. And I think it is one of my key strengths uh, in my current role as a business process consultant to be able to lead meetings um, online. We have very few meetings in person now. And I think that like my digital literacy skills uh, are one of the key abilities that I have that got me the job in the first place and then have really allowed me to sort of succeed in the role that I have at the moment. Guys, if I ask you a question, what helps us better understand the context when any stakeholders is expressing herself or when we're indulging in any form of official or personal communication with any of the stakeholders? It's strategic listening. Yes, guys, that's the key for the overall communication process, strategic listing. And as a student uh, who actively engage in the process, assist the teaching teams and providing my insights from students' perspective and improve together with the teaching team, I not only witness um, how student experience during the teaching process improve by making learning experience more tailored, but also they have more opportunities to get involved, encourage each other to speak up, work together under those environments that online learning was the only solution. And a lot of us haven't actually seen each other, but through this sort of um, engaging online learning communication opportunities, we feel like we were always next to each other. We experienced to work along with the teaching teams as a student partner, not only encouraged me to be more confident and actively share my opinions within the workplace as well, but also improve my working performance. I was honored to win a second place in the entrepreneur competition held by um, the New, New South West States. So overall, I believe student as partner is a joint success of teaching team and also students. These teaching methods can further improve teaching and learning experience. And tying it together, we could see this as a customer experience design that encourages a growth mindset rather than a fixed mindset. With this growth mindset, it allows participants to step into the shoes of recognizing and being recognized for reward, efforts, and progress, rather than being confined to fixed, safe mindsets. And viewing students as partners, We've noticed that students have indicated higher levels of satisfaction, loyalty, and appreciation of holding and being able to apply the nine graduate qualities that the university seeks to inoculate. It is noted that students are able to enhance their sense of ownership and agency of their learning, increasing their motivation to engage, whilst tactically reducing the temptation to cheat and engage in academically dishonest behaviors whilst complementarily allowing educators to provide insights into perspectives of the students and create authentic, inclusive, and collaborative learning environments that adds and builds on to the educative experience. Uh, that webs of significance are really important for students. Students need to have multiple people that they can go to to have an understanding and to develop their understanding and their knowledge, whichever the discipline they're working in. This is no different for our academics. They need to have webs of significance. They may well have someone that they go to for their discipline expertise, someone else for administration expertise, but we also need to develop these webs of significance or these partnerships so that they have people they can go to to talk to um, about their teaching challenges. Again, a lived experience of collaboration. So the way we do this is the University of Sydney has embarked on becoming accredited for Advanced HE and we have the Advanced HE Fellowship Programs. And within the business school, we are looking at kicking off our first Friday fellowship meetings, predominantly to look at building these webs of significance for our academics so they can understand the importance of supported collaboration so that they can then understand how important it is to build an ecosystem of collaboration and partnerships for their students within their own learning environment.